Hey there, Giant Pumpkin Grower. Sam here from giantpumpkins.co.nz. How's it going? Hey, uh, I'm here at the new location, which I like to call Tiny Patch 2.0. You'll remember over the last couple of years, I've grown in a very small area right in the center of the city. So, um, still in town, in the suburbs, but slightly got a bigger area to play with this year, which is great to see and um, great to figure out what I can do there. So what's my goal this year? My goal this year is to crack a 300 kilo pumpkin. I wanna grow that big and uh, I think things are in place to allow that to happen, so we'll see. And uh, I just wanna give you a bit of a tour of the area real quickly. And yes, if you do have a small area, you can grow a giant pumpkin. Don't let that put you off. People use that as an excuse all the time, but you can grow in a small area. I grew a 92 kilo pumpkin in less than two square meters of dirt. Uh, with a little bit more room for the vine. Uh, that's a 200 pound pumpkin, if you're wondering what that is in pounds. So it is doable, that's a pretty decent effort for such a small area. The things you need to look out for, obviously, is make sure you've got plenty of sunshine. This new site has heaps of sunshine all day long. Happy about that. The old location didn't have that. Lots of shadow in the afternoons, so that's gonna be very good. Uh, water, water's not a problem when you're in town. We're on town supply. Uh, I'm not worried about what comes out of the tap. I'm just, uh, Happy that I've got a, a good supply and I'm just gonna have to run a hose from one corner of the house all the way up to where the pumpkin is going to grow. So I'll check that out. How good is the soil here? I have no idea. I'll do a pH soil test, see what that looks like, and then just chuck some uh, good, good, wholesome products in the ground and hopefully build up that soil profile and we'll see how we go. I'm not utilizing a huge amount of soil because I can't dig up everything I want to dig up here and I can't have vines going everywhere so vine management will be very important. I will cover that later in the season and what I'm going to do with that. My biggest concern for uh, Tiny Patch 2.0 will probably be getting the pumpkin out. To do that I have to get through two sets of gates and go down a steep incline and down some stairs if I go that way. If it's so big uh, I'm going to probably have to think about getting a high ab and lifting it over a fence maybe we'll see how we go across that bridge when and if I come to that if your season's just ended how did it go let me know in the comments if you're getting ready to grow this year in New Zealand or Australia are you excited let me know I'd love to hear from you uh, what challenges are you going to face this year uh, what are you hoping to achieve let me know if you want to uh, follow along with what I'm doing make sure to subscribe click that bell so you see when uh, I update and uh, check out the blog giantpumpkins.co.nz forward slash blog and uh, I'm Sam and uh, hopefully everything is well with you so thanks